Hello friends, again warm welcome to this only nourishing tips, nurturing life, and educational YouTube channel. We are going to develop a series on teaching crafts and gear. In this video, this is the second lecture of this series. In this video, we are going to discuss the fishing gear material. In this topic, we are going to mainly discuss on the what is fiber, types of fiber, and we are going to study or discuss here the natural fiber. This lecture two is mainly depend on fiber, types of fiber, and natural fiber. Fishing gear and its efficiency. Fishing gear is nothing but the equipment which is used to catch the fishes in bulk or individually. Such equipment is called as a fishing gear, and it is made up of two types of material. That is, the, such we can call as a net and other accessories are the comes under the fishing gear. That is, sinker, floats, all that uh, equipment rope are. Come in the fishing gear material, which is are of two types. First one is the natural material. Second one is the synthetic material. And the efficiency of the fishing gear depends on the material and its ability to capture the fishes. As we know, the natural material mostly for construction of making fibers are required, and that fibers are of two types. That is natural fiber and synthetic fiber. Natural fibers get decomposed by the cellulose digesting bacteria on continuous using water. That's why the life of the natural fiber is less in the water. Life expectancy is much less in this natural fiber. For example, cotton, straw fiber are. Are the natural fiber from which we can make cotton net, for rope, or for net also we can develop. And synthetic material mainly consists of synthetic fiber, floats and sinkers, all that. And use of synthetic fiber is one of the most recent advancement in that is technological advancement in revolution which. Enhance the efficiency and productivity of the fishing gear. For example, polyamide, polyester, and polyethylene fibers are used for making these nets and equipment to capture the fishes. So, the material, mostly fibers, are of two types: natural fiber and synthetic fiber. Depending upon the polymerization. The synthetic fibers are also classified. Previously, we will discuss here first one the net. Here we can see this is a structure which is made of the net number of meshes and which is uh, uh, tied with the knot. Different yarns are tied with knot that different structure forming is called as net. Netting is a defined as It is a meshed structure of indefinite shape and size. It is composed of one arm or more twisting top arm, which is interlocked or joined together. Here we can see these are the interlocked or joined. It may be by the tracing or by the knot. These are the basic requirements to form the fishing gear. And For this, the fibers are required. To make a net, we require fiber. Fibers. What is fiber? This one we can see the cotton fiber, and this one is a synthetic fiber. Fibers are the basic material to construct the fishing gear. Fibers are the basic material for the construct of fishing gear, and we can define fiber as it is a unit of matter of hair like dimension whose length is at least 200 times greater than its width based on the source from which the fibers are obtained they are classified as a natural fiber or man made fiber or synthetic fibers we can also 
in this video we are going to discuss what is the classification or types of the natural fiber and this one synthetic fibers we will discuss in coming videos natural fibers are classified depending upon source from which they are obtained that is first one is a vegetable fiber and animal fiber vegetable fibers are obtained mainly from the plant while the animal fibers are obtained from the animal store vegetable fibers are again classified into four that is the fiber which is obtained from seed that called as seed fiber and example of that seed fiber is cotton then bast fiber example is ramen leaf fiber the fiber which is obtained from the leaf of the plant that is the manila fiber fruit fiber fruit fiber the fiber which is uh, obtained from the fruit of the plant that is sour fiber which is obtained from the coconut crop and animal fibers are again divided into three it is obtained from wool hair and silk these are the types of natural fibers depending on the source of the from which they are obtained as we see natural fibers are of two types plant or vegetable fiber vegetable fiber have a cellulose base it is made up of the cellulose base that's why the cells are attacked by the cellulose digesting micro organism that's why the shooting of the natural fiber is a faster and that's why the life span of the natural fiber decomposition rate of the natural fiber is higher that's why the life span of the fiber is less vegetable fibers are obtained from the leaves stalk seed and fruit that's the source which part from which can get the fiber fiber is nothing but the hair like structure Which having the length of 200 times greater than the width that uh, is called as fiber. It may be elastic, having strength. These are the qualities of the fibers we can see in after work. These fibers are further classified into seed fibers, mass fiber, silk fiber, fiber, and fruit fiber. We are going to discuss the fruit fibers in detail. This here we can see this is the uh, core of the coconut fruit, and this is the rope which is made from the this coconut plant that is called as core rope. These are the produced from the bud of the nut. For example, core core fiber is produced from the fruit of the coconut palm, and they are six to twelve inch in the length. These fibers are six to twelve inch in length. It is uh, having high quality, flexibility, and elasticity. This is a good quality fiber. It takes up little water and floats on the water. And but continuous immersion, it absorbs water and swells. And it is uh, rooted due to the decomposing bacteria. Cellulose decomposing bacteria. Mainly, it is used to form the rope from this source. From core fiber, we are mainly produced the rope. Now, second type of natural fiber is the leaf fiber. See, these are the fibers extending lengthwise to the pulp tissue of leaf stem. These fibers are also long and multi-celled fibers. These are the sessile and manila fiber. Here we can see the sessile fiber, which is Obtained from the leaf of the sesame plant. Fourth one is a stalk fiber. It is produced from the inner or composition or the main stalk of the plant. These fibers are long and multi-celled fibers. For example, linen, hemp, rennie, and wood fibers are the natural fibers. Stalk fiber. Here we can see hemp fiber. Hemp stalk is there. This one is the herd, and this one is the bark. It is obtained from the stock of the hemp. Well, the friends, we are discussing here the natural fiber 
and types of natural fiber what is the thing in this video thank you for attending this video we will see you in next video thank you